This is Good Taste Brekkie with Chloe and Elle this morning on Juice 107.3. For those of you who watch Australian Ninja Warrior, you may remember this gentleman. Really drive <laughs> to that finish line. Here he goes. Brett Dorrington gritting his teeth, dragging himself upwards. This is the sign of a champion. He is doing so well. I thought before he started this, he might not have enough gas in the tank, but it looks like Fred Dorrington is ready for season four. Beautiful. Throws the leg over. Get rid of the rings and put your hand on the buzzer. Where one ninja has managed to get to the top of the invisible ladder, Fred Dorrington's done it. And he's heading towards the semi-finals power tower. This is Fred's fourth season on the show after taking out the furthest, fastest in season one. He's back again and ready to get to the top of Mount Midoriyama. And he joins us this morning. Good morning, Fred. Hi, how are you going? Great, thanks. Now, Fred, you, you're known as a bit of a style icon on Ninja Warrior with your Australian colours and your flamingo socks. <laughs> you got to have the strong sock style, that's for sure. What inspires your outfits on the show? Oh, look, you know, you've got to have some colour to the socks, so yeah, I've been going for that this season. Uh, the yellow and green actually came from my first season back in the UK, so I was over there being the Aussie away from home, and when I came back to Australia, I thought I'd keep the look going. I like it. You've well. got to. You've got to, and it, uh, <laughs> it, it makes you stand out, you know. Now, uh, we did notice last night a few ninjas were using a certain tactic to regain their balance after the spinning log. So we wanted to ask you, does spinning the opposite way really work? I have found it does. So I've, I've always done it on the spinning log. We've been we tested it out in the, uh, in the green room, spinning really fast one way, spinning really fast the other. And I guess everyone's different, but it works for me. Can you imagine if someone just walks in on that while everyone's <laughs> just in a room spinning? <laughs> it does happen like that. We all do look like a bit of a bunch of weirdos in the green room. <laughs> I want to get a spinning log in our room here too. That would yeah. be great. <laughs> now, Fred, the course last night was pretty tough. It must have really taken a toll on you because you actually had to do a double take on the warped wall. What happened there? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever made a blunder on the warped wall. I think I underestimated it. I just came off, was too excited to be through that slingshot. It was a very pumpy obstacle and my head just wasn't quite ready. And um, before I knew it, oh, hang on, let's go again. <laughs> oh, yes. Give it another whirl. Give it another whirl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you were actually um, the furthest fastest in season one. How has the uh, Ninja Warrior course changed since then? Yeah, look, it's the level's been getting um, harder and harder, which is really good because the caliber of athletes has been getting better as well. So, yeah, they're definitely a lot more tricky, a lot more thought-provoking obstacles. And if you haven't got any endurance or, you know, power to get through them, you're going to really struggle. So... Yeah, the level's been coming up and I've been happy to keep up the training and hitting it each time. I don't even know how y'all get through the first one, to be honest. Like, yeah. I would have been off, like, as soon as the buzzer went. <laughs> it actually says... Sounds... There's always the intimidation factor. It's like standing there just going, don't be that person. <laughs> yeah. That buzzer actually sounds exactly like my doorbell, too. Every time it goes, I'm like, oh, Uber Eats is here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Fred's just hey, about we, we to do it. <laughs> uh, now, Fred, you are, I can hear a little bit of noise in the background. Is that children or where are you at the moment? Oh, I've got a little Milo. She's my, I've got a little dog a month ago and she's she's um, always misses me. So she's here at the gate pouring to get upstairs. Cute. Okay. <laughs> is, Fred. It, is it a little dog, Fred? Yeah. Little, little dog. She's 13 weeks. Yes. Before the collie cross. Yeah. We've got a bit of a poll going big dogs or little dogs today. So you would vote le little dog then, would you? She's little at the moment, yeah, but we've got, she'll, she'll, she'll be a medium bigger. size. So yeah, she's uh, a, bit she's of a, a border collie. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that he likes All dogs big dogs. are little when they're puppies, <laughs> Elorina. They <laughs> are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, if she gets any bigger, she might have to try Ninja Warrior herself. Yes. <laughs> oh, doggy Ooh, Ninja Warrior. That actually would be amazing. That would be awesome. <laughs> Fred, thanks so much for joining us on the show this morning. No we wish worries. you best of luck for the grand final, for the finals. Thank you so much. We look forward awesome. to you getting Enjoy. to Mount Midoriyama. Yeah, you too. Yep, looking forward to it. Cheers. <laughs> thanks, Bye. buddy.